Today, we're making a Frank Lloyd Wright inspired table lamp with a laser cutter. To design this project, I'm using a software called Rhinoceros and I start by using a previous lamp file that I designed for this contemporary light. It has the same square frame design that we'll be using for this project. We'll start by adjusting the slots around the perimeter of the frame so that they're tabs. This project is going to be really simple to assemble and these tabs will be the only attachment points to the outer panels with the pattern that we're designing. Next, I come up with the overall design for the exterior panels of the lampshade. The left and right sides of the panels will have tabs and slots where they'll overlap at the corners with the adjacent pieces. You'll see what I mean in the 3D model. Now, I draw a grid of lines on a different layer, change the color of the layer so that the lines are easier to see, and I use the rectangle tool to start developing a pattern. Now that I'm further along in my career as an architect and designer, I'm embracing the idea of going with the flow with my product designs and drawing patterns based on intuition instead of trying to make sense of every design decision. You can see here that I'm just picking different points along this grid and drawing these rectangles until I have a pattern that I think looks really good. Once I had a rough design, I turned off the grid layer and started to refine the design using lines on a different layer. I traced over the rectangles that I drew in the previous step and I used the trim tool to cut overlapping lines. By the end of this process, this is the initial pattern that I developed. I extruded the shapes to match the 8th inch eco birch plywood that I'll be using to construct this table lamp and assemble the 3D model. There were some aspects of the pattern that I thought could be refined, like the small rectangles around the perimeter. Since there's so many of them, it looks like a stitching pattern and I thought it could be improved by lengthening each one. So I refined the design, rebuilt the 3D model, and here's how it came out. The longer cutouts around the perimeter match the proportions of the overall pattern a lot better. With the design file created, I applied protective paper masking tape to my eco birch plywood. I load up my laser cutter, insert the plywood, and start the cutting process. I've always admired the details that went into all of Frank Lloyd Wright's iconic home designs where each part of the house had unique aspects to the elements within them. Whenever I tour any of the houses he designed, I love looking at the stained glass window patterns, especially the skylights. While watching the laser cutting each of the pieces, I started thinking about how colored acrylic could be glued in their place to add some color to these kinds of projects. That could be a fun lamp project to try next. This project can be cut using two sheets of 8th inch plywood at 19 inches wide and 10 inches long, and each board took about 20 minutes to laser cut for a total of 40 minutes for this project. Once all the pieces were cut, I brought them over to my work table and removed the paper masking tape. I bring over my MaxiCare super glue and start by applying it between each of the tabs of the top frame. I align the tabs with the slots of one side of the lamp and push it into place. I repeat this with the bottom frame. Then I apply glue to the opposite side and bring the side panel with the same tab and slot cutouts at the perimeter as the first piece. I align the slots of the panel with the tabs of the frames and push it into place. At this point, I realized that the project would look a lot nicer if we could filter the light through a translucent screen. The easiest material to use for this screen is paper. I bring over trace paper and cut it down to fit over the pattern cutouts of the side panels. A simple trick that I use is aligning the panel and trace paper by using the grid on the cutting mat. It saves time from measuring with a ruler, drawing points with a pencil, and cutting the paper. I apply glue around the perimeter of the pattern of one side panel and glue the trace paper onto its surface. I repeat this with all four sides.
Now, I turn the assembly over so that the empty side is facing up and I apply glue between all the tabs of the frames and side panels. I bring over the next side panel, align the tabs and slots, and push it into place. It takes a little bit of wiggling the pieces around, but the side tabs should all snap together for a snug fit. I repeat this with the last side. Once the lampshade is fully assembled, we can attach a typical lamp kit that you can get at a local hardware store or on Amazon. Then we install the light bulb and the project is complete. I love the way that the light filters through the translucent trace paper and flows between the pattern on each side. It makes me wonder if adding some color with acrylic or watercoloring on the back of the trace paper would make this project look even better. If you enjoyed this project, check out my other laser craft videos and consider subscribing. I'll see you again next week.